in this video I'm going to be uh, protecting the uh, the content of the secured member area because uh, currently our secured member area is very vulnerable anybody can access it it is not secured in any way because uh, it, we created it just like every other pages that we've created so um, in order to protect the uh, content uh, we need to do a little bit of uh, um, uh, coding so we just have to write a, some logical uh, statement that uh, our application checks to make sure that the person that is trying to access the content of the members area is uh, is uh, is God's authentication so if the user is not authenticated then uh, we we write a rule we, we tell the server what to do next if the person is not authenticated uh, we want to direct them to we want to redirect them to another page so and the best page to redirect them to is the login page or the join page you know so it's up to you to choose whichever page you want to redirect uh, people that are not logged in to your website but want to access your website uh, or they want to access your uh, secured pages so um, the best way to do it uh, uh, there is there are different forms of pre performing the security but the easiest one especially for uh, somebody that doesn't know uh, how to write too much programming <laughs> language there's a very small code is only two line two three lines actually it's only one line of code in an if statement I'll show you what I mean in a in a second so what we are going to do is we're going to write the logic inside the page load method the reason why we want to use the page load method is you see the reason why page load method is is used it's very useful because any execution any uh, checks that you want to do before your page loads you write them inside this method so if you want to check to make sure that uh, something happens before the page is actually displayed to the user this is where you write the uh, the checks the the, the 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 program you know you write the code in here so that it, the page as this is loading it checks to make sure that everything is fine if everything is fine then it displays otherwise it follows the rules that you've um, that you've written so uh, let me show you what I mean <coughs> so right here what we're trying to do is we want to make sure that uh, the user is authenticated before they can access the website so if they are not authenticated if their authentication is not correct then we want to redirect them to another page that's what we want to do so please please notify please notice what I just said if the user is not authenticated we want to redirect them to another page so this is how we write a code we say if user identity identity dot is right it's authenticated so um, we already have a problem the problem we have is we don't have is not authenticated so what we have is here is if user identity is, auth is authenticated but what we're trying to achieve is if the user identity is not authenticated so we write a statement which is a server dot transfer then we write the path of where we want to send the user to <coughs> so that's all the uh, that's all to it I mean that's all the uh, Oh, I didn't close. Right. So, is that if user identity is authenticated, server dot transfer to this. I want the server to transfer them to execute this page instead. So, but there's a problem because the problem is this doesn't make sense. If the person is authenticated, then the the server should transfer them to somewhere else. No, that's not what we're trying to achieve. What we're trying to achieve is if the user identity is not authenticated and the way we uh, the way we um, the way we ne negate 
the way we perform in negation in um, the opposite effect in uh, programming C sharp programming and Java programming especially is to use an exclamation mark as such if you put an ex exclamation mark that means you're actually getting the opposite of this statement so this statement is that the user identity is authenticated but by putting an exclamation mark at the back of it what, you are, what you're going to get is if the user identity is not authenticated which is exactly what we're trying to achieve so right now if I read it out to you again if user identity is not authenticated authenticated then server dot transfer to this page so if the person just trying to log again to our members uh, area doesn't have a valid authentication then the server we actually execute this page instead there is another code that you can put here that you can use uh, which I'm going to be telling you in the near future but this is all you need um, how many lines I'll say just two lines of code yeah so that's all we need if we run the page now and I'll show you how it works uh, we try to see if you look at here you can see that we're trying to get into the members area but we couldn't because we're not there's no authentication the, the server doesn't know who we are so it redirect us to this place instead so now what I want to do is let me, let me I'm going to copy let me copy that and log in let me log in if I log in log in yes if I log in because now because now I can move about and my authentication is still you know valid on the website right I can go to another page if I paste that we're still going to we're going to have an access to the members area now because this browser still have my authentication can you see there we're in the secured members area but if I should log out if I should log out open another uh, tab paste the same URL again we won't be able to log in now we won't be able to see the members area now because we have to log in again before we can actually view the content of the members area so that's what that's what it is to it it's very secured you won't be able to access your content unless they log in so I think uh, um, I think you you agree with me that this is a very 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 simple c-sharp code you can memorize it it's actually very easy <coughs> sorry uh, you can memorize this um, or you can just write it down it's very simple so you can place this code in the c-sharp area of your pages for every secured pages that you want to have so go ahead this is this will conclude the security at the introduction to the users and security um, but um, if you have if you've not if you are very smart you must have not taste that um, we are not checking for roles that means everybody will be able to uh, log in we'll be able to see this particular page because uh, we are not checking to see if the role belongs to admin or if the role belongs to user so everybody will be able to see the page because what we're only checking for is authentication so no matter what role you are as long as you're authenticated you'll be able to view this page um, I'm not sure if I'm going to create any video about roles and permission here but uh, I'll definitely do it but I'm not sure if it's, if it's going to be part of the um, quick start uh, video so let me know what you think in the comments on my blog so if you want me to do it I'll definitely do it so go ahead uh, you've got everything in your power now to create a members members area where people can register log in log out a private areas you know um, you know master pages you know uh, a little bit of database so I'm definitely going to make sure that you know everything there is to know in Visual Studio or Visual Web Developer Express Edition. Anyway, I've got to go now. Thank you for watching these videos.